How to treat a staph infection. Staphylococcus bacteria are commonly found on human skin and many surfaces. When the bacteria stays on your skin, it's generally fine, however, if the bacteria enters the skin through a cut, scrape, or bug bite, it can cause problems. It can create an infected wound, and if left untreated, can become life-threatening. 1. Seeing your doctor for treatment is a must if you think you have a staph infection. Getting treatment. Look for signs of infection. A staph infection can show redness and swelling. It can also create pus. In fact, it can look much like a spider bite. The skin may also feel warm. These symptoms will generally be near where you have a cut or sore. There may also be pus or discharge draining from the wound. Seek professional medical attention as soon as possible. Staph infections can develop into a serious infection quickly. Therefore, if you think you have one, you should call your doctor. Your doctor will likely want you to come in as soon as possible, and she will give you instructions for the immediate future. If you have signs of infection as well as a fever, it is especially important you see your doctor. Your doctor may wish to see you immediately or send you to the emergency room for treatment. Clean the area with an antibiotic soap. In warm water, gently wash the area with soap. You can use a washcloth if you do so gently, but you shouldn't use that washcloth again before washing it. Don't try to pop the wound if it's a blister, that will only spread infection. If your wound needs to be drained, it should be done by doctor. Make sure to wash your hands after cleaning the area. When you dry the wound, use a clean towel. Don't reuse it without washing it. 5. Discuss whether your doctor will take a sample. Generally, your doctor will want to analyze a sample of tissue or a culture. The idea is he can check what strain of the infection you have. Once identified, he will know which antibiotic that particular microbe is susceptible to. Expect your doctor to drain it. If you have a bad infection that creates an abscess or boil, your doctor will likely drain the pus from wound. You shouldn't feel much, as she will try to numb the area first. Draining a wound generally involves the doctor using a scalpel to make a small incision across it. After that, she'll let fluid drain out. If the wound is large, she may pack it with gauze that will need to be removed at a later time. 8. Ask about antibiotics. Most of the time with staph infection, you will need to take a round of antibiotics. One reason staph is so dangerous is because some strains are becoming resistant to certain types of antibiotics. Typically, you'd take cephalosporins, nafcillin, or sulfa drugs, however, you may need to take vancomycin instead, which is less resistant. The downside to this drug is your doctor must give it to you intravenously. 10. A side effect of vancomycin may be the development of a severe, itch rash. It usually covers the neck, face, and upper torso. 11. You cannot simply look at an infection and know that it is a staph or MRSA. Understand when surgery is necessary. Sometimes, staph infections can develop around a medical device implanted in your body or a prosthetic. If that happens, you may need surgery to have the device removed. Watch for this complication with other injuries. Staph infections can be a problem in a number of situations, such as when you have surgery. You can also develop a serious condition called septic arthritis when staph bacteria enter a joint, which can happen sometimes when staph is in the bloodstream. If you have septic arthritis, you'll have trouble using that joint. You'll also likely notice quite a bit of pain, as well as some swelling and redness. 14. You should see a doctor as soon as possible if you have these symptoms. 15. 